are you a tester or a support person and you would like to do development and you would like to be a developer let's see how you can follow some different tips and tricks in order to move from your testing or your production support ro job role to a development job role let's get started press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss any update from tech primers there is a myth that testing or production support person cannot move to development however i would say it is just a myth you can still move from testing or production support to development if you follow some um, tips and tricks which i feel might be helpful the following steps which i am going to tell it is all from my perspective from what i think uh, if a, a person should follow who is a tester or a production support person in order to move to development there are different ways of doing it but uh, i feel this is a more efficient and more productive way of doing stuff the first and the foremost thing is improve the domain knowledge in the area of your expertise so if you are a tester make sure you know the end to end system flow of your product if you are a support person do the same thing so you should know why you are doing support and what is the primary uh, function of the application which you are working on and make sure you know end to end features of the uh, product this will help you in having better collaboration with development team because whenever they do some change they will have to communicate that to you so you can go and have better collaboration with the development team and it might help you in the long run because if a person from the development team thinks that okay you have very good understanding of the product he might even ask you for some help because most of the time that is what happens in the service based industry right lots of the uh, lots of the teams are working only on the support and then there are very less development team the level development team keeps on moving however the support team remains and the support team has better understanding of the system than the development team itself so it is better to improve your domain knowledge as a start so that you have a better understanding of the uh, system which will help you in the long run i'll tell you why <clears throat> the next one is identifying a mentor who can guide you in the process of learning new technologies right so identify a mentor from either from a development team or he may not be from your team or he may be your friend or he may be someone who met in the internet or he may be some acquaintance you met somewhere or the other right so keep a mentor whom you can call any time and ask uh, doubts about what technology to choose from or uh, what is the right thing to do right so that helps in uh, not only in terms of uh, moving into development perspective but in a, in a, in a, as a whole if you want to develop yourself identify a person who can guide you in the right direction who will be able to um, make your career path right right the next one is uh, try to automate something which you find it difficult so let's say you are a tester right and you are doing something manually right for your internal process try to automate that if you are a production support guy i am pretty sure there are so many manual stuff which you are doing currently so try to automate that stuff okay like how uh, development teams create their own software try creating a software on your own right so try to see the best thing you can do to your process and start off from that because nobody is going to come and give you a, a piece of software and say okay do some coding in it but if you are doing or if you are creating your own software you have the luxury to choose the technologies you have the luxury to uh, decide what you want you have the luxury to add the features and nobody is going to come and question you why you did this or why you didn't do this because you are automating something apart from what you are doing at work right so that will help you in um getting a bigger picture and trying to simplify this uh, processes right so that is what development team thinks about they try to simplify processes right the next thing is obviously get somebody from the development team get some advice on the technologies which you can use because obviously you are new to technology it is better to approach to somebody who has a better understanding of the technology and the toolings around it so identify somebody from the development team collaborate with him make sure you have good networking with him and uh, make sure he can help you in terms of uh, wherever you are stuck 
right so let's say you are uh, working on a project or um, working on some automating something on your own right you you should be able to approach that guy and then ask for any help and he should be able to help you right identify somebody like that or in general what you can do you can proactively talk or set up a meeting with the development team and you can just um, propose your idea and then you can get some ideas from them that is also appreciated right once you have developed it definitely review that tool with the developer he will have a better understanding of uh, how you have developed it because he is also uh, a developer and he thinks the way you develop a software so it is better to review the tool with the developer and showcase your ideas and incorporate it incorporate some commands which they give so that you have a um, uh, better perspective from a development team right you may not be uh, judgmental in all the ideas which you have implemented but there could be something which you can leverage from the development team always right so i would say you can do that as well last thing take it to the wider audience for more visibility so once you are done with the automation of your tool take that to your manager or maybe above his level and then showcase that what you have done and how much effort is it reducing for you from an automation perspective right so what you did as a part of this particular whole process is you developed a software on your own basically you did a developer's job so as a developer that is what we do we develop some uh, software just to automate a process if you are automating something for your own sake that is also development so this is the first step towards development so you would have learned uh, lots of things as a part of this particular process you would have learned new technologies you would have faced hindrances of um, creating or usage with these technologies and you would have learned something about it right so this is a start for uh, uh, taking a direction towards development because you cannot just like that directly start off with a um, uh, feature and then you cannot just like that start off with the development right so if you do something like this and then you have a better visibility you can definitely approach to your manager or maybe your peer in the development team and ask for a movement from the testing or the support role to the development role definitely there are people who consider uh, it because if you have a good domain knowledge and if you have uh, a decent coding skill definitely people um, like prefer you over getting a new person into the development team because you have better understanding of the product and you can learn the technologies on your own as well if you are a self learner and even if it is a even if they you need small guidance people are ready to help so i would say this is the start so better you start working on these things so this is from my perspective so whatever i have seen in my uh, career over these past few years i have seen people who uh, used to i am a developer i worked i have done support as well um but we do only l3 support but uh, there are so many people who had approached me uh, who used to tell me that okay they don't want to work on the support job they wanted a development role however they never take any step of these kinds right they just come do the support job and then go home they think that okay next day when they get up they will be a developer that's not going to happen right so you have to improve your dom- domain knowledge you have to work on so many things in the background in order to make you Uh, make yourself move from the support role to the development role because in the current world there are lots of support role and those support roles are getting automated and people are trying to move away from support role to the development role in order to stand out of the um, lot you will have to do something different and i feel that these are some things which you which will make you stand out um, from your team members when you are doing these kind of things like you have your own um, domain knowledge expertise and you create an automation process using some development tools and you have learned development as a part of that particular process right so that is what i wanted to cover uh, in this particular video if you find this uh, video relevant for somebody who's working in testing or the application support do share it to them i hope you like the video if you haven't uh, subscribe to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it if you like the video go ahead and like it meet you again in the next video thank you very much